we have to keep that in mind. And our reaction in verse 23, it says, is to rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. So basically, we're supposed to rejoice. I could have gotten mad about it, but I was walking to go to someone else's house. And so I made a decision, of course, as hopefully I should have, is that the world doesn't love me. And so I don't have to force myself to interact with the world, at least in a circumstance that may not be good for sharing God's word or may not be where they want me. If the world hates me, all I can do is share Jesus and go on. We don't have much else we can do and rejoice because if I was super worldly, they would have been like, come on in, we taking shots. Come on, you know, come on, preacher. I can out drink the preacher. That's the way the world thinks. And so verse 26 is the opposite side of the coin. I just, I don't know. To me, this is a powerful verse. It says, woe to you when all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. Okay, so I hope you all like me, but if not, you know, hey, praise God. You're supposed to love me. You commanded, in fact, praise God. But what if all of you spoke very well of me? All the people at the Halloween party spoke very well of me. All the people in my family spoke well of me. All the people they were out doing, selling drugs spoke well of me. All the people in every circumstance speak well of me. The Bible says, woe to me if that's true. So don't be upset if the world hates you. The Bible says that they're going to, and in fact, they're supposed to. There are people that were disciples following Jesus that left him because they didn't like what he was saying. So even Christians sometimes, there are times where people, I'll tell you this story. This one time, this brother rebuked me off of something, and um, I didn't want to hear it, honestly, but he was right. And so I have a choice in my mind from that point. What do I do? How do I react? Do I still love him? Do I perceive that when God is using people to tell me something that I need to listen? And so I might not have spoken well of him, but in a way I wasn't speaking evil either because I was like, man, that brother, he sure, he sure just slap you around sometimes. But we need it sometimes. There are some times where God in working how he does, we can be gently corrected. Sometimes it takes a little bit more force to it. And so we shouldn't speak poorly of people that are doing God's work. I mean, that's the way it is. Of course, we all sin and fall short, but we need to realize people are glorifying God when they do things that other people sometimes won't. And so we need to stick to that.